So today I'm here in Sunningdale Cemetery uh, where we're going to visit Diana Dawes's last resting place. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful cemetery. It isn't what I expected at all. It's very intimate. It's very picturesque. We have the horses in the background. Let's go and take a look. So I, I didn't want to come here today and just list off Diana's achievements. We all know her achievements. If you're a fan, you'll have seen her movies, you'll have watched her interviews. So we all know what she's achieved in that way. I guess what I, I wanted to celebrate and, and not be maudling is I wanted it to be a celebration of she really was like the best of British, you know, she had a stiff upper lip because no matter what happened, she got back up again. She was hugely talented and in a way her good looks perhaps held her back. Well, I'm sure they did hold her back from those really meaty roles that she could have done. And I'm sure had she been born a little later in life, she would have had those. But I, I think what she, what she teaches us, which I think is what's really missing at this point, is that if something bad happens to you, and my goodness, she went through so much, you know, she could tick every box. Don't let that be your story. That's not your story. That's your experience. And on we go, because we must. When I think about the career of acting, it's a really tough profession. I'm an actress myself, and when you think about, not only did she have to walk that profession and to those heights, that wouldn't have been easy, all the characters that you meet along the way, but she's had husbands that have taken her money. And then of course you had her last husband, Alan, who she helped him overcome and battle alcoholism. But always with all of that, you had this huge presence, a huge smile. She was continually reinventing herself. So when she knew she wasn't getting the acting roles, I don't know if anybody remembers when she did the Adam Ant video and she came on and she played the fairy godmother and we all thought she was just incredible um, and it sort of brought her back into our consciousness of, of a certain generation. They say that she really did save at the days of TVAM, the early days, she saved them because she did this whole thing where lose weight with Diana and, and every week she would go in and she would weigh herself. When work got short, she was doing the circuit of the clubs because she was a really good singer. She adapted. She didn't sit in the corner feeling sorry for herself. She adapted to whatever the situation was and she came up with a huge smile on her face. And I, I think for that, to me, is something to be admired. It can be overshadowed by the fact that people talk about the wild parties or she was a sex symbol or scam she just played the game she didn't take it seriously and I think that strength of character she wasn't here really very long you know if you think about it 50s it's, it's, it's no age at all but she shone very brightly and she is remembered so hugely fondly from her friends they, they all miss her terribly PJ Proby said he, d he doesn't have any male friends, but he considered Diana his friend. And everybody just loved her. And, and she was very sensitive. She was very aware of other women. And, and she would say to, say, someone like Anne Diamond, you know, the, the reason you're not in shot with me, it isn't personal at all. It's just I am a lady of a certain age. And, and obviously you're a young thing. So to be in the same camera shot, you'll understand you know, one day as you get older, and, and Anne Diamond said, I absolutely do understand what she was talking about. So 
she was aware of everything that was going on. Roy Steiger said she had an intelligence, a real intelligence that she could read people, read a situation. And very few people, again, can read a room, can, can read people instantly as they go in and know how to adapt and how to be with them. And she could do that. And I think the tragedy is that, of course, when she passed away, her husband just couldn't live without her. And he killed himself, of course, leaving Jason. And Jason, unfortunately, he battled alcoholism most of his life. And um, he speaks, he spoke very highly of his father because, of course, people said to him, didn't you think it was very selfish of your father? But I mean, who knows in those dark times? We look at life through our own lens, what's happened to us and our experiences. We can never imagine other people's experiences. But I think that we should remember Diana as the huge light that was brought into this world. And some people just are, they're, they're brought into this world just to share their light. That's their job. Their job is simply to share their light and let others bask in it and, and feel uh, good with it. And, and she did that. She did that hugely. I, I'm very sad that her husband was not able to to cope uh, after she her light went out, but they'll be together now. And um, I think we shouldn't remember her as the British Marilyn Monroe. She was her own woman. She was her own talent. And we should remember her for that big bright light, that talented lady that could adapt no matter what life threw at her. She adapted and she went forward full throttle and she didn't let anything or anyone bring her down. And I'm a, a huge admirer of Miss Dawes. This is a real star. Diana Dawes was a real star. She's just the old style star. She can turn her hand to anything. She has talent. She's done the work. And, and I, I think we're lacking, we're lacking that now. And I don't know if we're ever gonna go back to the days of those old stars with the discipline, with the training and the learning and learning your craft. Because I think that most people don't have the attention span. I cannot go on too much about how I feel like we must celebrate her because it's easy because of the ending to, to sort of concentrate on the tragedy of it all. But then if we do that, then we ignore all the wonderful things that Diana has done and also the great personality that she was. And she was a star. She was a real star. If she'd have lived in America, she would have been huge. And, and that persona, but she was just down to earth and everybody loved her. And I, I think it's really important that we leave on a positive note. And my God, if you could have a life, wouldn't you have liked to have had hers? All those experiences, all those people that you met, that swimming pool that she had, <laughs> those parties that she held, just fabulous, just absolutely fabulous. bad happens to you and my goodness she went through so much you know she could tick every box don't let that be your story that's not your story that's your experience and on we go because we must